place. We're on the famous Yarrowa Road in Bangkok's Chinatown in Thailand. Behind me is the famous Hong Hang uh, Canal or Klong in Thai, uh, where there's a market and just back there you see there's a bridge and uh, that's basically the beginning of Yarrowa Road. So uh, we're gonna go the other way past this interesting looking place here, for example, which uh, used to be a kind of a old market area. I think there are musical instruments in there. This place is closed these days. And uh, we're gonna head further into Chinatown and check it all out. It's a really cool place. So let's go down there and uh, come along with, with me. I'll show you some stuff. Okay, we're gonna try to cross this super busy road now. It's a bit of a danger actually, <laughs> I can tell you. So on the right here, you can see it looks kind of old looking, but uh, freshly painted. Along the side here, there were a bunch of old shop houses and uh, oh, probably four or five years ago, uh, some people decided to renovate them all. And uh, how much of the original buildings are left? Well, I saw quite close up with the renovation and uh, yeah I would say very little of the original buildings underneath all that plaster um, maybe a little bit of the skeleton yeah so it's interesting because in the last few years in Bangkok, especially with the young people, old buildings have started to be appreciated, but of course there are not the kind of standards that you find in the West in terms of uh, protecting old buildings and uh, rules on uh, renovating them and so on. That kind of stuff hasn't quite uh, kicked in here. Not yet, at least. Yeah. Could be, could have been done a bit more sensitively, let's put it that way. Okay, on the side over here, we have a kind of a market street here. A Thai friend of mine told me her father got ripped off buying soup or something, I don't know, noodles from a place back in there. So it shows you have to be careful in this part of the world, not only if you're a tourist either. Same for locals. They charge him some, I don't know, out of control price for this bowl of noodles and said, oh, they're special noodles. It's like, yeah, right. Okay, so on the left side There is actually a market And it's a pretty good one. There's a lot of uh, useful things Hi. 
And it goes quite far back in there. Right in the deepest part, way in the back. There used to be a bit of a dodgy video collection, I can say. A lot of illegal stuff, but um, yeah, one of the places in Bangkok that used to deal with that kind of stuff. The copyright authorities have uh, really clamped down in recent years though, so pirated DVDs and uh, computer software and so on. You don't see it around anymore. And as far as all the kind of uh, porn stuff, uh, you see the odd bit around <laughs> once in a while, but not much anymore, not like it used to be. But in surprising places, I'm talking about tourist areas, you do get people popping up selling that kind of stuff, but they're more discreet than they used to be. All right, so we started at the beginning of Yarrawat pretty much. When I was talking to you at the beginning there, you could see the beginning of the road about a block and a half behind me there. Because I thought the things I've mentioned so far are pretty interesting and worth mentioning. Definitely that market is worth a look, for sure. The renovated place, I would say, give it like three or four years until it looks lived in and they've managed to find tenants for all the spaces and it'll probably be quite a fun little place. And the other place that was kind of a music market type place that's closed at the moment. I would assume there would be plans to renovate it. It's, that would be my guess anyway, because why else would they have closed it up like that? But it has been closed for a while. Looks like some pretty old sunglasses in there. Are they real ones? Or are they just figments of our imaginations? Hmm. Now we're coming into Yarrawat proper. the Chinese signs. This is what people think of when they think of Chinatown in Bangkok. Let's have a quick peek in this side soy, Anon Mankon, where we can See, there's Wat Mang Khan. It's one of the more interesting looking temples in the area. There are some good ones around here, that's for sure.
And if you want to have a look at the other end of the street, tune in for my upcoming video on Charon Krung Road. And uh, we'll have a look in that one at the other end of this street. See, there's a few food sellers out already. It's in the late afternoon now. And as we come close to evening, Yarrowa Road has a lot of uh, food sellers out on the footpath. And uh, a lot of them can put chairs and tables out. So it becomes a a real kind of foodie type location. It's become a real draw for foreigners to come here and enjoy Chinese food and Thai food out on the streets here in the evenings. And it's a lot of fun, but it's pretty busy, pretty crowded. This little lane we have covered in our video about Sampang Lane and uh, areas around Sampang Lane. You can uh, check that as well, it's a good one. Definitely recommend it. Let's head on down Yarrowat Road a bit further. Yarrowa Road's always a lot of fun. I always enjoy a good walk down here. I mentioned Sharon Krung Road earlier. It runs parallel to Yarrowa on the left side there through the, through the next block there. That's interesting as well. And uh, we'll be having a look over there in an upcoming video as I mentioned earlier. This one's an interesting one. We'll just have a little peek in part of it. You might notice uh, as we walk along, there are signs for shark fin soup and bird nest soup. It's quite expensive. Yeah. 
Okay, you'll be able to see the uh, last bit of this street from the Charon Krung video, which is coming up soon anyway. So we'll head back down to Yarrawa Road. Yeah, mentioning the shark fin soup earlier, I have tried it. I tried it once. It tastes uh, pretty good, but uh, people say it's not ethical and I don't want to try it again, I think. I tried it a long time ago. And uh, since that time, people started to say it's not good to uh, eat it because um, well, I'm not sure exactly, but maybe they uh, cut fins off sharks that are still alive and uh, don't take the whole shark. I think they don't always slaughter the shark. They don't always catch the shark and kill it before they chop the fins off. Something like that, anyway. I have a quick peek in here. This one is an interesting one as well. Okay, and you'll be able to see the other end of this from the upcoming Charu and Krung video, which I'm pimping heavily in this video. But for good reason, you'll see why. It's a good video. All right, let's continue on with the wonderful Yarrawat Road. Further up here, you can see the top of a temple. When I first came to Thailand, at least 20 years ago now, I stayed in a hotel around here. I have never been able to find it since that time. It was a strange place. The bedroom had no windows. I stayed in there with uh, an ex from, an ex uh, girlfriend from Germany. And uh, 
we had a couple nights booked in there after one night i had to check out and uh moved over to Khao San Road area to uh, Soy Rambu Tree because at that time this was not really a popular tourist destination as much as it is now let's let's say it was colorful yes but it was a lot more grimy so Yarrowak goes a little bit further down there but we're not gonna go down that way because it's not that interesting basically but yeah we could go down that way as far as the temple I suppose but it's probably a little bit more interesting to check this side street before we wrap things up for this episode and this street is kind of interesting and it's right out on the periphery of uh, where foreigners tend to uh, mingle around when they want to check out Chinatown. So it's not set up so much for foreigners. As you can see, look at the buildings. Some of the buildings are really in bad shape here. You don't see any foreigners along this stretch, eh? Also, because we're right on the edge of a notorious uh, Thai, Thai, Chinese Thai, I should say, Chinese Thai um, nightlife neighborhood around here. So the vibe starts to change a bit. And now we come out on to the corner of Chiron Krung Road. All right, we'll finish up there. Hope you enjoyed the walk around Yarrowat Road. And got my bag of pineapple from the fruit man who was wandering past. Had to pay 25 baht though. Okay, it's Chinatown prices. But uh, outside of the popular areas, you can get it for 20 baht still, I'll tell you that much. All right, that's it for today and that's the wrap and see you guys in the next one please click subscribe and like and hit the bell button so you get notifications on upcoming videos and if you would like to support the channel please click the buy me a coffee link it would be greatly appreciated all right see you in the next one and don't be late